Rob Lee! Hello! It's Tuesday today. Tuesday. Show week for us. What are we up to? Yeah, so for me, um, I'll be working mainly on Athena, or should I say Skystead? Yes, oh. Skystead. Um, there's some more stuff to do with the floor that I want to work on, and hopefully some Discord integration, because I've got to do that last week. Uh, but yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, very good. And for me, um, there's a bit of Colin Pixels work for the stained glass art book. Stained glass book? <laughs> DLC. <laughs> um, yeah, Windows. I'm the queue for that, as well as getting the announcements out that the DLC is coming. Uh, on same topic as Colin Pixels, there's some Switch announcements as well, because the store page for Collection 3 is live now as well, so I want to get the news out about that. Um, and then, yeah, towards the end of the week, hopefully a bit of bullying as well, make us start on the next DLC levels, and a bit of streaming at the very end of the week. Yeah, and for me, I'll be working on Skystead again this week, and um, I think I'm going to do the Snail. So, yeah, I'm not sure if we've got a name for it yet, but Snail for now. Yes, Snaily, <laughs> Snaily. Snaily, we'll call him Snaily for now. So, I've been working on some improvements to the floor stuff. Um, so now when you make grass grow, uh, you'll notice that um, these little tus tufts of grass, um, they disappear now. There's a little animation as well that goes along with it. I think we might be able to make that a little bit better. Right now it just scales the thing down. And yeah, it, it's really noticeable when you've got the bigger objects as well. So if you get the big grass. And then we replace it with the meadow. As you can see, it, it looks much cleaner now. Uh, much more satisfying when you're swapping that out. Um, another thing that you might notice is... Um, this board we've got the in the background now. So this is the, the stats for the world But for your section of the floor um, if you look over there, there's um, another section for that that area over there um, But it's basically saying that most of the floor is cracked earth um, There's a little bit of grass and there's a little bit of meadows um, These are just temporary icons at the moment. We need to get Jack to make some But yeah, you can see if I if I start patting the earth, we'll get the little earth stat as well and this is what's going to be used to spawn in the creatures. So um, when, I don't know, say we've got like 20% um, meadow in this area, the fawn will appear because uh, the fawn likes the meadow and etc. etc. So yeah. All right, so as I said this morning, I'm working on the snail this week and so far it's coming on quite nicely. Um, there's a few things that I want to try do. The shell so far has been quite complicated. Um, I've done a time lapse, so hopefully Lee's put that in. As you can see, I spent a lot of time on it, and there was quite a few ways I could have made the shell, but eventually I ended up just manually doing it myself. There's literally a button in here that I can just create a shell, which I'll quickly show. It's quite funny. Boom, shell. But um, it didn't really work out very well because I wanted the, sh the shell to be quite straight so I could add the leaves on top. So I eventually just ended up extruding a curve and essentially making it myself. But it's coming on quite nicely. Hopefully it'll all pay off towards the end. It's Wednesday morning and tomorrow is May the 4th, Star Wars Day, so I've jazzed up the calendar a little bit with some Star Wars stuff and I'm hoping, providing I keep on track, each day after Star Wars Day of course, I'm going to draw a little thing in the calendar boxes so by the end of the month we'll have a very big Star Wars blackboard, but it's going to be good fun. Um, just a little sketch, nothing too, nothing too ambitious, but hopefully when they all come together it'll look really good. So yeah, we've got the um, collection three of Colour Pixels coming out later this month, actually releasing on the 25th, so it's like three weeks from now. But the store page itself is live and you can pre-order the game as you can see here. So what we're doing now is getting the announcements out, so we've scheduled for tomorrow, just as we had the um, <coughs> the DLC announcement yesterday, we don't want to put them back to back so close. So uh, sort of drafted up and scheduled all the announcements to go out tomorrow, so we've got obviously Steam, website, Twitter, uh, I will do the Discord announcement live. But yeah, got those running up until the actual release day as well, because we're doing a, a separate post on the release day as well, sort of trying to draw more traffic to the store page to hopefully get more sales for Collection 3. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to carry on with the QA testing of the stained glass book. Um, as you see here, I've got through eight images so far, and I need to get through the rest. What have I been doing? Um, puddles. I've been making um, puddles. Oh, it's so laggy. It's so laggy, that, but... Uh, but yeah, I've been working on this little water shader. Um, at the moment, it's just sort of like everywhere um, and you dig down to make it visible. So I'll fix that, but but yeah, quite happy with it. Um, it makes a little rim of dirt around the outside as well. And yeah, should be fun. Just a little extra thing that we can do with the terrain. Okay, so the texturing's all done and it came out quite nicely. Wasn't too much trouble. Um, had to do a bit of extra work on the leaves here to fill in the bottom. I did have a bit of a problem with the normals, but I fixed it. But right now, I'm just going around rigging everything. Um, it's pretty much rigged completely. I'm just adding controllers in. 
Um, so I'll have a little show you what's going on. So essentially the ears have their own rig so they can go up and down like this. They've also got their own little rotation control down here so they can turn. Always a bit of geometry mess messing up there. I'll fix that. But yeah, they can rotate. Um, the shelf itself can also rotate and it's got a bit of um, deformation down here on the body so when the shell moves the body moves a little bit with it i may add some more control there and just move the body a bit more it's a bit too subtle i'll see how it looks when it's animated and it's also got some rotation on the neck as well which i can control so if it wants to essentially curve its neck down like this and look to the side then it can Okay, so the snail character is completely finished now, um, called Shelly, and he looks great so far. Um, the animations have completely done, I've just sent it off to Rob to see how it looks in game. We have his happy animation, where he spots back and forth. Looks great with the shell. It's hard to tell what the shell kind of lifts up with his body. There it goes, so it's kind of hopping as well. We've got his, which one's this? His sad animation, which is quite nice, it's a bit different from the rest of them, kind of looks more exhausted as well. Quite tired. We've got his special animation, definitely my favourite. Where he checks his tail and of course his walk cycle his walk i don't know it's not really a walk but sure but yeah he's kind of like just thrusting his body forward carrying his own weight and i quite like it i had some squash and stretch in here so you can see his tail kind of um, extends a little bit with his body kind of implicating that he's dragging it so it's quite nice but right now i'm working on the notice board for the game and it's coming along okay i've just started just got some um, wooden planks in so far but i've got a few ideas that i want to implement in so obviously the um the main board will have a giant post on it that dis displays some in-game UI but I kind of want to add some more sort of notices on the left and right of these poles here um, kind of nailed in just to add some character to the board and I think I'm going to do some extra bit of detailing not entirely sure yet but I want to try present a lot of character in this one because it's um, going to be on the forefront of the game so it should look quite important. I've just finished QA testing the last of the images for the stained glass image uh, or stained glass book so I've gone to all them here um, I've gone ahead and put them all into a final folder and renamed them all as well to give them uh, a bit of a different name. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get these re-imported so Rob can make a build and then I can get them one final check. Uh, so look over here on Trello. Some of the images, uh, you can see I've marked them with a tick sticker um, saying that they're, they're fine, there's no check needed. Same with this one here. Uh, but the ones here that have the sort of hazard symbol or notice not symbol, uh, I want to give those ones another look over just because the number of changes on those have been quite drastic. Okay, so yesterday was quite a productive day. Um, I managed to get the billboard pretty much there. There's a few things that I want to add on, and um, the guys had some really cool suggestions that I'm going to add on before I start texturing. So essentially, I want to add in this almost wind chime kind of um, item here that hangs on the side of the billboard, which can display different types of UI, uh, similarly to the big board in the middle. But um, we had a cool idea that one of these could also represent the tokens that um, Rob made with his laser cutter. This one here. So this should look pretty good. Obviously this is the thing I drew up. Rob's lasered it into a piece of wood. It looks really cool. And obviously because it is circular, I thought it would be a cool idea if we could essentially add it onto the side here. So a bit of a change of plan from what I originally planned this morning. Um, I want it to be pretty much completely through the texturing by now. But there's been a lot of trouble with the UV map. I made a mistake that I didn't really realise that would cause a problem until now. But essentially, um, a lot of these, a lot of the assets on this billboard are essentially just duplicates. So as you can see, obviously this pole is the same as this pole. So when I UV mapped it, essentially it's created an additional UV map, um, additional what's it called? Sorry, additional islands in the UV map. So there's a lot of texture overlaying that's causing a lot of problems. Um, so essentially, I've just had to delete all the duplicates. So I'm going to have to go around and take out the other poles, like here, get rid of these. And essentially, once I would textured one of each, just essentially rebuild the billboard from scratch. Um, so it's going to take a little while longer, but hopefully now that I know what I'm doing, it'll be okay. It's going to be pretty productive Friday. Uh, we had our live stream earlier today as well, and we started creating this level here on the live stream. And you may recognise it, it is the, uh, the Grand Canyon picture from Coloring Pixels, from the Landscapes book. Not Landscapes, the Landmarks book. <laughs> um, but I thought it's quite a, quite a good image for Woodup. It's got some decent bold lines throughout the image, so giving it a try. And this is the final result. Um, obviously, not the best view without the uh, in-game test. We'll try and give that a go in a minute. But yeah, quite happy with the results so far. I need to play test it and see how it goes. But other than that as well, I've been working on the uh, sort of a Wild West image, uh, as we'll show over here. 
on this image it doesn't have any root roots in it yet uh, it's just the pins but um, it's not quite promising in the sense that you can already sort of make out the shape of the cactus uh, or cacti and the, the road and the rocks at the back uh, but yeah it's quite a good little line art image and I'm going to give this a go and get in this correct as well and hopefully that'll be the third image out of the ten I believe I've got to do for the Wooloop DLC okay so I've been working on quite a few things on Athena um, so I'll just do a little quick update on what I've been up to so the water is looking really good now you see they've got this little foam back and forth sort of like swaying motion um, and things like when the when the little spook goes in the water you can see the, the foam is like in front of it and stuff the slime boy looks happy doesn't he and yeah there's it's very difficult to tell but like there is a bit of like wave motion to the water as well which I spent a while on um, I've also managed to redo all of the shaders that we were using for the rest of the stuff so it hopefully it won't look much different but a big thing that we've got now is shadows so you see these little tufts of grass grass we've got little um, shadows now and um, the shadow from the character is actually like on the floor now um, so things are just looking really really good I did have to uh, slightly change the the grass wiggle part of the shader so you see it's like it's moving with the wind um, I did have to change that slightly. I'm not 100% on, on it. It's okay for the moment, but um, I might have to make some changes in that in the future. And yeah, it's just it's just feeling really, really good um, and looking good. I managed to get the snail boy in as well, Shelly. Um, where is he? There's one over here. Yeah, there we go. Um, and yeah, he's looking really good, moving really, really slowly. But yeah, it's just looking cool. Um, a couple of issues that were noticed as well is... Like if we if we make a bit of water, um, occasionally we get these seams appearing, but that's fine. It's like animals like the bird here basically just get like fully submerged in the water, so we might have to do something for that. Um, so yeah, we don't we don't want to make it look like they're drowning, but but yeah, it's looking good. Lee, Jack, <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday. Got no Rob today. He's a bit ill, so uh, once again, just one person on the Rob. <laughs> we're we're going to alternate this time, not me again. But yeah, it's been yeah, a pretty busy week. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get two people back on the video by next week. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's been a short week as well. Bank holiday. Bank holiday next week as well for the coronation. Uh, but we're still quite a lot done. Um, the stained glass book has been completely finished up this week. That's coming out tonight for you guys watching the video live. So make sure you head over to the Colin Pixel store page. Check out the stained glass uh, art book. Uh, it's really good cool one that Jack's worked on. It's quite a different style on how the pictures are made, so it's pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, check that out. As well as that, uh, we made a lot of progress on Wooloop as well. So the landmark DLC for Wooloop is coming out in two weeks from now as well, if you guys are watching the video live. Um, so yeah, make sure you head over to Wooloop and wishlist that. The store page will be up, so you go to add to your wishlist and get ready for it coming out in two weeks' time. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you very much to everyone on Discord. It's been, as always, very active in Discord, which is great. But we organise some of the uh, pages as well. We've got better format for bug reporting and stuff, so make sure you check that out. Uh, as always, thank you much to our patrons, um, to our old patrons and the new ones that have joined us through the, uh, this month as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. 